Yo, what's up, you are back, and today, the name of the video, how I made 100 million stubs throughout MLB The Show 23. I'm rich. I've made so many stubs, opened so many packs. My team's insane. Let's just say I'm very, very wealthy, and this is the most stubs I've ever made in any single MLB The Show in history. And it's because I've been trying. I've been trying to, you know, spread the wealth throughout all the subscribers. So join the Discord if you want to be part of that group of wealthy individuals in MLB The Show, uh, and become a YouTube member for exclusive perks. Now today, we're gonna go over, you're kind of gonna get some insight and some stub, I think, some, some stub making methods. But if you're watching this video, you're extremely lucky. Let me tell you why. This video will not only give you some methods to do right now, uh, but right now you should already be rich, first off. But second off, this is gonna prepare you for MLB The Show, dun dun dun, 24. This will prepare you for MLB The Show 24, uh, and I'm not really gonna make this type of video often. Because when MLB The Show 24 comes out, guess what, my stub counts zero too. So I kind of be a little, I gotta be a little greedy, you know what I'm saying? I gotta be closed off with my stub making methods at first. So really, only the members are gonna get to know some of these stub making methods. But if you're here, if you're at the end of the year watching me still, you deserve to know some of these methods as well. So the first thing you're gonna do when MLB the show, well, you know what? This, this, this is the first thing you're gonna do when MLB the show 24 comes out. Uh, but it'll be silver to gold exchanges, right? I've made a ton of stubs this year on the silver to gold exchanges. So what does that mean? Uh, well. We can think of it in terms of this year and also in MLB The Show 24, right? So when MLB The Show 24 comes out, these 79 overall cards, they'll be worth, you see right now they're a quick sell, they're 150 each, um, and it takes four 79 overalls to get one gold pack. So 600 stubs to get any gold player, basically. You can go to the exchanges, silver players to gold, uh, and then if you see this, I have 160 of this guy. So you can come in here and you can put in four of them, uh, so that cost me 160 stubs right there. Go to your packs, you open it, and hopefully you get someone over 600 stubs, right? Bam, you lost 200 stubs. You keep doing it, and on average, the gold pack is worth close to 1,000 stubs sometimes. So you're making a pretty much double your stub profit, uh, however many packs you're opening. So that was a really solid method this year, but in terms of the future, this is how you make the most stubs starting off a new season, right? You actually do this method and it's insane, because guess what? A lot of these silvers, they might be close to 700 stubs, 800 stubs um, when the new game comes out, okay? So you're, you're paying 2,500 stubs per pack. That's a lot. However, the 84 overall golds in MLB 24, they'll be 10K. They'll start off around 10,000 stubs, 8,000 stubs. Trust me, it's gonna be insane profit when the new game comes out. Uh, I really don't wanna talk about this method too much because I've made bank every single year for the last couple years in every single new game doing this method. Uh, but silver gold exchange is the best at the very beginning of the season. Uh, tons of stubs to be made. Now the next thing I want to talk about as well, uh, how I made some stubs this year was roster update investments, right? Uh, there was a guy by the name of Matt Chapman. Oh baby. Let's just say Matt Chapman made me tons of stubs this year. I think I've, I bought into Matt Chapman when he was a 79. I bought Matt Chapman when he was a 79 overall. I spent 200 stubs for Matt Chapman, right? And I think I bought... Let's just say I bought 500, I think I bought 600. I bought, we'll say 500 to make the math simple. I bought 500 Matt Chapmans uh, for 300 stubs when he was a 79 overall. All right, you know, that's fine. It was that 150K, right? Solid. I put 150K into him. I turned that 150K into almost a million stubs. Matt Chapman went from a 79 overall to an 84. An 84 quick sell is 1,500. I made eight times my stubs on Matt Chapman. Roster update investments to start of the year are insane. You gotta make sure you're subscribed and you know maybe even a member because I'll be giving out the best roster update investments throughout the entire year. As the year goes on, it's harder to hit. It's harder to make eight times your stubs on these investments. So you gotta you know you gotta make the stubs early on. This guy, Joel Payoms, I told you guys three weeks ago to invest in him when he was a bronze. He was a bronze. I said buy him for 30 stubs. Look at that. If you went all the way back. To 728, I told you to buy him for 30 stubs, uh, and you would have made what is that? A lot, 30 times your stubs, right? So I mean, Joel Pyomps. I, I mean, I, I'm still making tons of bank as the season goes on, but roster update investments are probably the best way. Um, so you want to make the stubs at first with a silver gold exchange method, and then you want to start dabbling in roster update investments uh, as well as another thing that we're gonna talk about now: flipping cards. This year, flipping cards has been really solid. Um, especially with the set one and set two bosses. The set one bosses, 
I've never made more subs in my life. I would be flipping these guys, you know, on crack. Once I made a million subs with Matt Chapman, what did I do? I came in here and I noticed that the set one bosses, uh, they had a pretty good flipping margin. I gotta find these guys first off. Were they set one? Yeah, Munitaka Murakami. Munitaka Murakami, I would buy him for 20K and sell him for 30K. He had insane flipping margins. You can even do it right now. Uh, obviously, no one's buying these set one cards right now, so they're not highly traded. Um, but you can do it with some of the other bosses probably. But I would come in and I would put in 10 buy orders uh, for 20,000 stubs and then sell them for 28,000 stubs at night. So the cards fluctuate at night versus the day, depending on how many people are on the game. So you gotta track that, take advantage of it. Uh, and I made a lot of stubs doing that because I would do it 10 times per boss card. So I think there was four boss cards I would do this on 40 times. So I would do it 40 times a day. And let's just say I make, let's just say conservatively, I made 5,000 stub profit. 40 times a day, 5,000 stub profit, 200,000 stubs a day. It's a factory, baby. It's a factory making stubs all the time. Uh, so that was a really good way to flip some cards. Um, and this this also applies to even right now. If you went to some of those set three cards right now, some pretty solid flip, flip opportunities out there right now. Um, so definitely something you could consider uh, for even doing right now, but also as we get into the new games, you gotta also be aware some of these cards might just naturally go down in price. Alex Gordon, I see him going down in price as the game continues on. Uh, he could even get as low as, you know, 15K. Uh, in the upcoming days after the set four drop. So you don't wanna be holding a bunch of these guys once their price dips or else you're actually gonna lose stubs. So that's where you gotta ask me for some advice, right? Well, that's basically the three main ways I made a bunch of stubs this year. Uh, talking about MVP 24, another main thing you wanna do is, I'm not a big fan of actually playing Conquest, uh, but it's definitely smart, holy cow. It's definitely smart if you get the free packs, right? Uh, they, they hide free packs throughout the Conquest so you can just move your buddy, you can, your buddy. <laughs> you can move your cursor, I don't, what, do, what do you call it? Your your, your your city? You can move your city to a uh, to a certain square and in that, is it a square? Okay, that's crazy, that's crazy, to a hexagon. You can move your city to a certain hexagon and bam, look at that. You move it there and then you get a free standard pack and there's packs like that throughout all these different conquests. Uh, not just standard packs, but actually packs that are more relevant. And then you would go in, you would just restart and go to the next location. Conquest packs are juiced, you'll see it here. Crazy. But do that enough times, you'll get something good, you'll make some stubs. So that's basically the best way to make stubs in, in, the, in the upcoming game. You can do it now, uh, do it on MVP Show 24, but that's how I made 100 million stubs this year overall in MVP Show 23. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. You excited? Because I am. Let's get rich, baby.